So in this lesson, we are covering georedirects and CDNs. Another very important aspect of international SEO is dealing with you know, international requests from you know, very, very different geographical regions. Bear in mind, these requests are not just you know, ones that your users make, but you know, that hopefully end up on the most appropriate language or country version anyways. It's also important to know, you know how to deal with you know, search engine crawlers in that case. For example, Googlebot mainly does its crawling coming from the United States. So let's consider the following scenario for a second. If I were physically in Germany and then tried to access your US website, then if you were using georedirects based on my you know, dial-in IP address, I would automatically be redirected you know, to your German website. And that's technically speaking really fine. You can do that. It's just important also to understand that Google almost always crawls from the US in that case. So if you have some kind of you know, geographical restriction on the German site that, you know, for example, didn't allow any US-based traffic, you know, this could cause a massive problem as that domain would not be crawled by Googlebot at all or it can't be crawled at all. So clearly, you do not want that to happen. So if you're involved with any kind of automatic redirects, make really absolutely sure that they are using the appropriate HTTP response status codes as well. There are two that would generally work, you know, either a 302, which means found, or a 303 suggesting that it is another resource at another location. Personally, I prefer the 303 though. Those two status codes will also ensure that those requests won't ever be cached, you know, which would happen if you would be using a 301 instead. And that caused, you know, potentially even more problems. So generally speaking, I really don't like to be forced to kind of another geographic location and then to have to figure out, you know, how I can order, say, you know, from the US or the UK while being in Germany. It is really annoying and kind of a bad user experience. So please don't do it. An overlay pointing me to my appropriate language or country version is really more than enough. Also, for international SEO, CDNs are important if you want to deliver a very fast user experience. If you serve you know, in multi-regions, say Asia, the US and Europe, it's not enough to just host in a single location as the latency of those server responses is just simply too high. This is where a content delivery network, aka a CDN, you know, can come into play. Unfortunately, again, there is no one-fits-all solution really. Also, kind of be in mind that if you want to be successful, for example in China, you'd need to have local hosting instead as well. So otherwise, there's just no way for you to be ranked in within China whatsoever. Even if you have had a CDN, it's not a workable solution for some of the markets in this case. Consider the regions where the majority of users you are targeting is actually located. Consider that also, you know, in Africa, for example, bandwidth is limited and internet access is mainly from mobile devices. This means that you know, if you're going to use your you know, built for desktop site, you might not get a good reaction from those users. It is you know, about understanding the audience and their capabilities, really. Many mobile devices are just not up to date. You know, for, from a performance perspective, for example, they cannot handle JavaScript fast enough, or, and they may not have you know, 4G connections. So it may be about trimming down sites and tailoring them to the geographical regions that you actually wish to target as well.